you want to get down? Thank you for waiting. Boo delicious. You're delicious. Come on, Boo Boo. Good boy. So I know it looks like he goes far ahead of me, but I took this video on purpose to show you that, boo! He actually does have a purpose in the pack and I call him the um, sniper alert. <laughs> and the sniper. Because he is going to be more ahead of the pack. That is what his role is. He's the protector of the pack. Annie is like, you know, in the middle of the pack. She's the center point so that she can get to anywhere quick enough to resolve the situation. And Natasha is a little bit too far behind today. I'm going to pick her up again. But her role as Caboose is to be the eyes and ears behind me. Sonata and Butter! <laughs> They are the teacher's pets. That's what I call them. Time, 27 oh. minutes, 23 Hey, seconds. Boo! Distance, one Wait. mile. Pace, 27 so minutes, Boo is about 20 seconds boundaries. per mile. How far ahead is two, two ahead? Boo! Wait! So I don't want to necessarily reprimand him for running away right now. What'd you see, Annie? Natasha, come on, the eagle's gonna get you! So you see how... Butter and Sonata always stop and wait and they just keep their attention on me. That's why I call them the teacher's pets. They're always checking in on my energy, my mood. I see Boo. Let me just get Natasha, okay? Wait. Thank you, Boo. So this is what I need people to see. <laughs> that when I take these hikes, it's not just about me having a great walk with my pack. It's about creating boundaries and limits for them, letting them be dogs and assign their own jobs. And being here to help out when they need a lending hand. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Butter. Thank you, Boo Boo. Thank you, Sonata. Hopefully, if I keep taking these videos the way that I take them, It'll help explain to myself when I watch them again how to better explain it to people because quite honestly people don't have time to listen to me talk, <laughs> including myself. So you see Annie's kind of behind me now because I'm carrying Natasha. And because she's freaking tired. We had a big morning at Alicia's with her pack. Boo, too far. Come. And the difference with this creating boundaries with Boo, it's either come or wait. If he's getting too far ahead, wait. If he's going too far in, <laughs> come. And I mean, I don't know if this is right. I really don't know anything. <laughs> but what I do know is I know dogs. And it works. Most of the time, but then when Boo doesn't listen. Boo, Butter, y'all want to stop for a treat? It's important for them to also take little breaks because if you just walk all the time, then they get in the zone. We don't want them in the zone. Which pocket did I put the treats in? This one? Okay, let's all have a seat, take a breather. Boo, you want to catch it? Boo, count of three. Not you, Butter, wait. This is for Boo. Count of three, Boo. One, two, three. Catch! Sweet! Annie, count of three. Catch. Yeah, buddy. Did you get it? You got it and you dropped it. So 
Sonata. We're, oh, let me get butter first, okay? Butter. Wait. Butter, I want you to catch. Sonata, watch out. Butter gonna jump on you. Catch, butter. Good girl. I'm not forgetting you two. Okay. Sonata, nada. Ready? I want you to do up top. Up top. This is Sonata's. Get back. Wait your turn. Sonata, sit. Up top. Good girl. Okay, Natasha. This is Natasha's. <laughs> Wait. Bravo, bravo. Yes, yes. All right. Let's keep a trucking, shall we? Continue on. Thank you. I know, I keep hearing that too. I think they're like blowing up mountains or something. I'm tired too. What about a about? Um, this is why I like keeping them all day too. Because we do a lot. And everything that I do with my pack is just as important to me, personally, on many levels. But in creating boundaries, I'm now trying to get home at least before midnight. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm trying to get home in time to be there for my girls when they get off the bus because I think that is important. And I have neglected their needs. Come on, guys. Come. They're too far. Butter and Boo. Now, here's where the trouble begins because Butter and Boo know we're heading back to the car and they're like, we're not ready to go yet. All right, let's go get some water. So Annie's gonna say, Butter, you know better than that, huh? That's right, Annie, tell her. Come on, girls. Thank you, Annie. <laughs> Sonata, you have leaves stuck on you. Ooh, you gonna throw up? You just have the hiccups? Okay, we're almost at the car. You're like, pick me up again, Mommy. I thought you were getting ready to throw up. Boo-ba-licious. Oh, God, there's somebody here. I hope they can hear me. 